So here we are in Michigan getting ready to go out to uh, the 2011 uh, Moab Eastern Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. We go every year and we, we prepared some special Jeeps to take this year. This year we've got kind of a full line. We've got so many new Jeeps coming out, uh, we try to touch them all. First Jeep I've got is the uh, 2011, we're calling this the Compass Canyon. And it's the, the new 2011 Jeep Compass, but it's been enhanced with uh, a little bit higher ride height, larger tire on it, and we've changed the graphics a little bit. Uh, these cars do very, very well off-road. And uh, we, had, we had a Patriot last year that did very, very well. We wanted to follow that up with a, with a Compass this year. So we made it look a little special, uh, did some enhancements to the suspension, and uh, I think it's going to do very, very well for us. Next vehicle we've got here is a 2011 Jeep Cherokee Overland, we're calling this. The Overland is the export version of our Liberty. This one happens to be an uh, export model. It's got the diesel engine, and the theme of this car is more of a, uh, an off-road adventure car, more of an Overland vehicle. So we've put a, uh, a lot of accessories to it to enhance the Overland uh, theme. So a, a roof rack, we've got a cargo shade, uh, the, the big awning on the side, it's got a lift kit to it. Not a lot of bling, this one is more of a, an African safari type vehicle. Uh, the paint scheme is very, very basic and we've got the zebra camouflage to it, which is just kind of recalls that cool, classic African safari car. Okay, next vehicle in the lineup, uh, brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a 2011 Grand Cherokee, but we've enhanced it for off-road use. Uh, taking a lot of the, the bright work off the vehicle for the theme to get it uh, a little, uh, little more serious for the off-road enthusiast. It's got a, a small suspension lift to it and a little bit larger tire. Other than that, we've left the, the running gear very, very uh, stock to it. Uh, Grand Cherokee is a superb off-road vehicle and we didn't really need to, to do a lot to it. Uh, it's a very, very cool theme. Next vehicle in the lineup for the uh, Moab Easter Jeep Safari, we did the, uh, it's a brand new uh, Jeep Wrangler that we've dressed up as a Renegade model. And a Renegade model back in 1972, I think it was, we put the V8 in the, the Wrangler. We wanted to do something to recall that vehicle, the Renegade. So what we've got is a uh, two-door Wrangler. We've added uh, a lot of parts out of the Mopar catalog. Um, the bumpers and the hood and the wheels and whatnot to give it a lift um, but then we added uh, a lot of nicer details that you usually don't get on a Wrangler so the bumpers are painted the the mirror caps are painted and it's dressed up very very nice not so much of a uh, an off-road uh, the, the typical off-road look to it uh, the powertrain for this we've got a, a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine in it it's 470 horsepower and that's connected to a six-speed manual transmission. Loads of fun to drive. The interior is done in catskin leather interior. So again, it's a very, very high-level equipped Jeep. Another feature vehicle for us this year is the uh, Wrangler, it's called the Project Pork Chop. And the idea was to just enhance the, the off-road capability of it by just reducing weight. So we've taken a lot of weight out of this vehicle, I think 850 pounds in the end. We did that through extensive use of aluminum and carbon fiber. We took off the doors and the tailgate, put lighter seats in it. Um, it's got a lift on it, a larger 35 inch tire. And then the whole theme is sort of wrapped up in this uh, cool retro 60s theme with the, with the wheels and the stripe. But uh, again, this was just really a, an intensive weight savings program to uh, sort of enhance the vehicle's performance by taking weight off of it. Sitting behind me is our uh, new vehicle that we produced out of our Mopar Accessories Lab in Centerline, Michigan. It's our Mopar Blue Crush vehicle. What we did is uh, we, we've taken a look at the Jeep marketplace. Uh, one of the important DNA parts of Jeep is being the best there is in rock crawling and off-road performance. So one of the new uh, developments in Jeep and off-road has been inspired from King of Hammers racing here back um, several years ago. And what it does, it takes the best of rock crawling and desert racing and put it into one race. So naturally at Mopar, when we get into racing and customization, and we have such an iconic brand of Jeep, it's just a perfect fit for us to start jumping in full speed. So we want to play in that game and we're debuting and we're going to uh, test it out at Moab. We just got done putting this together. And that is, um, it's taken a uh, Wrangler 
and, and totally manipulate in it to be, be just an awesome rock crawler and fantastic off-road. So when we jump into some of the uh, uh, off-road on the desert racing part of it, we got uh, in touch with our Performance Heritage uh, at Mopar and we put in our legendary 426 aluminum block uh, Hemi engine that puts out four, 540 horsepower. Match that up to a uh, beefed up performance transmission and as you look at the vehicle, you also see two external transmission coolers to really help that performance of that transmission sitting behind that 426 aluminum block uh, Hemi engine that we have in there. The suspension, uh, considerable a lot of, um, amount of work to be able to have the rock crawling ability, but then again, the high speed jouncing that you get in the desert racing. So it's a complete new uh, uh, suspension system that our Mopar engineers had put together. We actually have now a product introduction. We have our uh, Mopar JK8 Independence, and it was inspired for many years. Uh, the Jeep enthusiasts have been talking about uh, coming out and having a pickup truck uh, available. Uh, we used to have pickup truck in the past, we used to have the Scrambler, and last year Mark Allen's team with the Jeep team just uh, inspired everyone with coming out with the Jeep New Kaiser. And working closely with Mark and his team and, and our Mopar engineers, we take a look, took a look at it and say, what can we do to satisfy the, the excitement and the needs from the Jeep enthusiasts today? So we actually, we're debuting here and we'll be having it out at Moab, is our, is our new JK8 Independence, which is our package that we can convert a four-door Wrangler into a pickup truck Jeep. It's truly exciting. Um, an enthusiast, um, that's very handy, can do it themselves. If they're working extremely fast, they can do it, make the conversion over a weekend. In many cases, it'll probably take a little bit longer than that. The JK8 simply comes from the rich heritage of the CJ8 Scrambler, the J8 military Jeep that we have right now, and we think it's just a perfect marriage with JK8 and just having that independence to go wherever you want and have the flexibility of a pickup truck behind you. So what you're looking at uh, right now behind me, and we're gonna have out at uh, Moab this year, this is a uh, brand new 2011 Ram pickup truck with the phase two Ram runner kit on it. We're extremely excited. It's gonna be going on sale uh, right after uh, we're at Moab this year. And customers can take a brand new 2011 Ram just like we did, or they can even go back to 2009, 2010, 2011 and convert their vehicle into a Ram Runner package. What we're really excited about is this uh, extensive uh, package. It, it can be built up over time. A consumer can custom build it, uh, what, what parts are most important to them, or they can put it all uh, on the vehicle at one time. So what does it do for us? We just love the fact and everything that we do at, uh, at Ram and, and at Mopar and, and all the brands is, is to be first and to be best in class. So there, we do have a competitor that's out there in the marketplace with a pre-runner package. And we're proud to be able to say that we are best in class with the Ram, Ram runner. What we have is uh, with the extension of the three inches to the control arms and the work that we've done in the suspension system and then added by the, not only is it fantastic looking fenders and really making a wide stance on the vehicle, it gives us 14 inches of, of movement, which is best in class and that's what you need at the high speeds off roads when you're hitting those uh, bumps. And then another best in class feature that we have is our three inch internal bypass shocks to really get that full suspension travel and cool that, uh, that fluid in order to maximize its performance out there in the desert racing. So we can't wait to, uh, to see those of you that are gonna be out in Moab. Uh, for those that aren't, stay close and uh, attention to our websites at mopar.com. Uh, we will be filling it with, uh, with videos and excitement that we did out at Moab. So I can't wait to get there. And uh, for those that are gonna be there, we'll see you. And on the others, we'll see you on the web. Thanks for your time.